So another trophy list review, and today we've got Warden of Wisps, who kindly put his name forward in the comments down below, and that's what you'll need to do if you want me to review yours in the future. So as always, Platinums only, in alphabetical order, and I've already seen straight off the bat that there's an absolute suite of a peach Platinum trophy in this list. So let's get to it. So off the top, Ark Survival Evolved. Not my type of game. I'm not I'm not the best when it comes to like crafting and survivals, but I know how much work goes into these Arc Platinums and straight off the bat, absolutely amazing. 4.49% that that's dedication on that one. And you earned that quite quite a while ago. So fair play. I'm excited to see what else there is. Astro's Playroom. Every, everybody should have this one. Not because it's easy, which it is, but just because it's an absolute banger of a game. And then, I mean, judging by the dates, I'm guessing these were both done legit. But my God, back for blood twice. Like, I, I, I know how difficult this platinum is. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I, I haven't like actively tried for this platinum, but I played back for blood a hell of a lot when it first came out. And even like up to a couple of months after its release. And it's one that I would love to go back and try and attempt. But it's just some of the trophies in that game are absolutely rock solid. And the fact that you've even done a lot of the DLCs as well. That like that is a platinum to be proud of. So massive props for that one. Batman the enemy within. Nice. The Telltale series as well. Nice. Borderlands 2. 7.3%, sorry, 7.03% on that one. All 76 trophies. Like, again, it's absolutely an amazing platinum, that is. Like, not not the, the hardest. Like, there are some hard trophies, but certainly time-consuming. Um, and the fact it took two years and four months obviously suggests that you went back to it. But I don't blame you because Borderlands are absolutely fantastic game. Uh, Bug Snacks, nice. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, nice. I, I, I like I like the Call of Duties because so many people play them. It does make the percentage uh, much lower um, than it probably should be, considering like you know their. I'm not going to say ease, but you know the, I've I've got a couple of Call of Duty platinums, and it's like if if I've got them, then they're considered considered easy ish. But, well, not all of them. But fair play, 6.73% on Modern Warfare. Then Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered, 14.74%. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, 8.87%. Nice. <coughs> Conan Exiles. Now, I always thought that was, um, that was another survival type game. But the fact it only took you 5 hours and 13 minutes suggests that it's not too difficult. Either that or there's like a cheese strat. But still, nice. And, and this was, to be honest, this was the one that I was referring to at the start of the video. Like, Dead by Daylight, twice. And and I, like, I never usually click into, tro into the lists themselves. But I've got to on this one. Because it, there's one trophy missing. 124 out of 125 just one trophy missing so i'm actually going to click into this one so let's have a look so you've got got all the base game you've got the platinum absolutely like it even let's get rid of that pop-up even if it was just the platinum i would be impressed but the fact that you've done all the dlcs as well and there's just that one trophy missing like okay so here it is Skilled Huntress in public matches down 20 survivors 20 times with the Huntress's hatchets further than 24 meters away. Now that that would that that just sounds like the most irritating trophy ever, and I can like completely acceptable as to why you haven't got this one yet. But I, I gotta know, are you still actively trying to get this trophy? Because uh, that would annoy the living hell out of me. 124 trophies out of 125. I, I would need this trophy to be done. 
I, I probably wouldn't stop until it was. But nah, like the fact that you've got the tr the platinum twice. Oh my god. The PS5's got even more trophies. What the hell? I did not know that. Okay. So 213 out of 249 trophies. This this is something I... Like, I would love to have this Platinum. But I just... De Dead by Daylight is kind of like Marmite for me. But I... Like, it's like I've got Bipolar or something. Because one, one minute I absolutely love the game... The next minute, I absolutely hate it. I don't... To be honest, I prefer being a survivor than the killer. And then, like, it just... It annoys the hell out of me if, uh, if the killer just tunnels for you. Or, like, they just... You know, you get caught, they hook you up, and then they just stand right next to, like, your hanging body for the rest of the match. It just annoys the hell out of me. It's like, well, there's five minutes, ten minutes of my... Uh, my free time gone. But, nah, that that's... That's impressive, 100%. Very, very impressive. And the next one is, to be honest, Dead Rising 2. That, that's one that I've been considering recently. Um, took you two years, eight months. So, again, either like a second playthrough, I'm guessing you went back to finish off certain trophies. But 2.43%. Like, you got some really, really low percentages here. Lower than anything I've got. I've got a couple of low ones, but nothing nothing in the below 3% mark. This is, so far, a fantastic trophy list, straight off the bat. Only a few, um, only 57 Platinums. Like, you know, not as impressive as 174. But the Platinum so far, like, yeah. I'd, I'd rather have a low quantity than have these types. Uh, Dead Space, nice. The original PS3 one, Dead Space 3, and the DLC, only 4.1%. I don't know how hard Dead Space... I know how hard Dead Space 1 is, but Dead Space 3, to have such a low percentage, I don't know how t how difficult that one is. But that is a, also another very, very nice platinum. Uh, Donut County... Yeah. Uh, Dynasty Warriors. Now, you don't see many of these around. I think I've only seen one other person so far that has got a platinum in any of the Dynasty Warriors. Um, not my type of game, but the type of game that I do enjoy to jump on every now and again and just have a quick little blast. But fair play. Although the trophy percentage is quite high, almost one in every four. But still, you've, you've done the work to get it done. And Dynasty Wars is alright. Elden Ring. Uh, I'm guessing uh, you'll be doing the uh, DLC. Although, actually, I'm, I, I don't know. Like, I, I can. I know a lot of people are conflicted about the Elden Ring DLC that's about to come out because of uh, apparently there's no trophies on it. But I mean, it's one of them. If you, if you enjoy the game, why not play it anyway? Uh, Fallout 76. Very nice. Only two trophies. Again, I'm gonna have to. Cl I'm gonna click into this one. I, I want to know which are the trophies that you're actually missing. Um, okay, so pop off, get off. Uh, all that glitters. I'm guessing that's a mission and become allies with the foundation. Are they the only two? Yes, they are. Um, okay. I, I don't. I don't know what either of those two trophies um, require. But the fact that you played it kind of recently suggests that maybe you are working on that. I hope so, because you know it'd be a bit of a shame considering you're so high. Um, Fallout Shelter. I know. I know that there's the one trophy on that, that that that's really irritating, but never played it myself. Um, Far Cry Five. Nice. A little bit shame about the amount of DLC, but. I'm not one for DLC. Like, if I really, really enjoy the game, then fair enough. I'll play the DLC. I'll, I'll, I'll get 100%. But otherwise, I, as long as I get the platinum, like, I'll, I'll leave all 60% and stuff. Um, 50 words by Pogi. Uh, I don't want to say shovelware because I don't know what this game uh, requires. 
took you two months four weeks but it is a very high percentage um, so I'm just gonna leave that one because I have absolutely no idea uh, Ghost of Tsushima e everyone knows what Ghost of Tsushima is uh, yeah very high percentage but it's because of how good the game is a, l a lot of people put uh, platinum it Helldivers 2 yes only took you four days, sixteen hours. That that's uh, that's not bad. That isn't one that I uh, I probably would have worked on if I had other people to uh, to go for the platinum with. I, I played it quite a bit when it first released with a couple of my mates, but they they're not platinum hunters, so it was a bit difficult trying to uh, do some of the trophies. Um, Jack and Daxter twice, and it looks like legit as well. Uh, Looks like you went back to finish it originally and then did it again on PS4. But nice. And then you got Jack 2 as well. Nice. Have you considered Jack 3? Um, uh, is it Jack X Racer or Combat Racer or something like that? And I believe PS Plus uh, is either has just announced or... Um, but it's already out, but the uh, I think Daxter's on it now. Are you planning on doing those? <coughs> Kena or Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, eighteen point two five percent. I'm actually surprised that that's that high, to be honest, because that's a that's a difficult platinum as well. So far, like, I'm really surprised at, at how how awesome your trophy list is because of there's some absolute bangers. Um, Lego Jurassic World and The Force Awakens. Why not? Yeah, you know, everyone, everybody should uh, platinum a Lego game at some point or another. They're just, they're just pre they're pretty simple usually. They uh, they don't require much thought process. Uh, ju they just just require time, really. That, that's the only that's the only issue with Lego games. And once you've done one, you've pretty much done them all. Um, Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy. Probably one of my all-time favourite Platinums. I, th I thought the game was just brilliant. And the, tr the trophy list wasn't too overbearing. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, and then you got the Telltale series as well. I don't know if this is a, a just play and Platinum type of Telltale game. Or whether it's one that actually t requires a bit of a uh, thought process. I actually almost brought this uh, yesterday. But nice. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Every, I think every man and their dog has got uh, this trophy, this platinum. Um, Midnight Deluxe, uh, that looks like it might be a little bit of shovelware. Minecraft, 115 out of 127 trophies, nice. That is uh, some dedication. I know the uh, the base game, like you know, you, you can do the platinum in like a few hours, I, I believe. I think I think on the guide it says about 10 hours. But um, the fact that you've done that many of the uh, the DLC trophies as well, that is rather nice. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Nice. 7.7%. That's the... Um, is that the Mortal Kombat where you have to do all the trophy... Uh, trophy. The tutorial challenges. Because if it is, then I'll take, I'll take the hat off. Like, that is just insanely like dedication right there 100 percent and then you got my name is mayo twice disgusting we, we are, we're all allowed a, a, an easy one from time to time especially after some of your other pl platinums like the, there's no ifs or buts about it like uh, no one can say absolutely anything do you you got back for blood you got dead boy daylight yeah, why not chuck a my name is Mayo in there? Uh, Outriders twice. Uh, oh, it's an auto pop. Thirty eight seconds. Okay, but it's still you, you got the uh, the original on uh, not the original the platinum on PS4. So nice, fair play. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's the old one. Okay, nice. Um, surprised how high that percentage is actually. But Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, I, I can I know why that one's so high because it's a f absolutely fantastic game. Like the game is brilliant, the trophy list is pretty simple. So yeah, 
I think I, I think it took me about four or five days. I believe it was brought, like this game was brought for me f uh, for one of my birthdays, and uh, like I I'd finished it a couple of days later, and my missus was like, are, "Are you not playing a new game?" I was like, "I've already finished it." It's like already. That was a waste. I was like, "Soz, mate, too good of a game to put down." Uh, oh no. He's got back for blood and dead by daylight. He's got back for blood and dead by daylight. Just, I'm just gonna have to keep telling myself that. Secura, Succubus, one and two. Look at those percentages. Ugh. Shocking, shocking. But nah, the, the other the other platinums do more than enough for it. Star Wars Battlefront two again, you know. I've just mentioned um, the other two Platinums that are like really impressive. This is another one. You got, you've got you even got the DLC on it as well. 3.97% nice. Only took... Uh, I was about to say only took two years. Um, but So I'm guessing you went back to that one. But nice. And then Battlefront Classic Collection. I know that one came out earlier this year, didn't it? Was that the game with um, the really bad launch? Where... Um, I think I read something like they only had like three, three or four dedicated servers for each console, so people couldn't get in. Uh, but still, you, you got the platinum on it. Surprised that it's so high, if that is the game that I'm thinking of. But nice, very nice. A uh, little bit more. Um, sorry to say it, but trash, I guess. Uh, Tales from the Borderlands. Actually, I've heard that, that, like, I'm surprised that that's so high, but I have heard that that's pretty awful. Like, not in the sense of, like, it's, it's like, shovelware, but, like, awful as in, like, the game itself is just really bad. Um, the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Nice. Very nice. I, I know that one takes some, some effort and dedication, uh, but surprisingly quite high. And, and the next one, <coughs> Sims 4. 5.94%. Now, obviously, The Sims 4 did go free to play at one point, so probably a load of people got it and was kind of like, uh, this isn't what I was expecting, or it's not as good as the older ones were, or the, the, the nostalgia just doesn't hit the same. But still, pretty decent platinum to have, so that one's a nice one. The Walking Dead, nice. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, nice. Um surprised at how high that is uh, and until dawn absolutely brilliant game Sim simple to platinum i haven't done it myself so i probably should do it before i start calling platinums uh, simple but nice and then two zero zero tian zero tian invasion i'm guessing that's how you say it but on the vita and on the ps4 um yeah, just looks like a bit of filler. So as always, I'm going to quickly go through uh, milestones. So your first ever trophy was Future Retro in Fallout 4. Um, first ever Platinum was Skyrim. So you know, th this screams to me that potentially you've had another account. Like perhaps you started a new account purely for Platinum trophies. Because Skyrim is a... Actually, no, because... Ignore me. Skyrim, like, just because it was your first Platinum doesn't mean it was, like, you know, you've set up a new account for it. Um, Tenth Platinum, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Twentieth Platinum, Dead by Daylight. You know, awesome. Thirtieth uh, Platinum, Lego Star Wars. Fortieth Platinum, Marvel Spider-Man. Fiftieth Platinum, we always... Uh, Far Cry 5 and then your latest platinum was Fallout 76 and I mean look at that from Warframe and Neverwinter in your ultra rare trophies I, I know what both of these games are uh, I, I'm not do they have platinums I'm not even sure I know that never I know Neverwinter does because I'm pretty sure I um I remember watching a video about how like it took it took somebody like 3500 hours to platinum that game 
Um, so I'm kind of interested to know if you're still playing that and if you're actually going for it. Uh, I know what Warframe is, but I, I, I'm not sure about the trophy list on that. Um, and you got you got some very nice Platinums in your trophy cabinet. But yeah, so overall, a very nice trophy list. A couple of um, you know, a couple of uh, games that personally I wouldn't want next to all them big hitters. But it's your list. You can obviously do as you please. And as long as you enjoyed yourself as you got those Platinums, no one can tell you otherwise. And that's something that I'll, I'll, I'll always say to anybody. Like, I know I always, like, make jokes and cuss out people, like, you know, jokingly, about, like, your, your securities or cubbies, the My Name Is Mayo. But as long as you enjoy yourself, who gives a toss? Like, forget everybody else. Forget all these people that are like, oh, no, I would never do that. Fuck them your trophy list do as you please enjoy yourself and if you want your your trophy list reviewed why not because straight up like i said straight off the bat that that back for blood one and the dead boy daylight just like perfect like i would love for those i'd love to have the skill for those but yeah awesome list dude um you know apologies that it took so long um obviously we were talking uh, in the comments and for some reason, your username kept uh, auto-deleting itself. Um, but yeah, so if anybody else is experiencing that same kind of issue, just reach out to me. I'll gladly add your name to the list. Um, and anybody that hasn't yet and wants to be added to the list, just leave the PSN profile uh, username down below. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one.